<laughs> extra y'all better not play with extra O. <laughs> but yeah, I, I amazing job at uh, load side to debuzz. But there's no debuzz here. Only uh, Sonic with something to prove and numbers who is in here every week. So let's see if Kamex can get another uh, PR level win beating numbers and Dill on the same day. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Ava Smash just calling out that, you know, air dodge. Very nice. And that oh header my. sniping. Kamex, you better be very careful because John is out for your neck yeah. right now. You better not be playing. Uh, it almost reminds me of how uh, Kamex started really aggressive out the gate versus Tilde because he just came off a good win. Numbers coming off the upset with some hype, er, not an upset, a comeback with some hype strings. Probably feeling himself a bit. Probably being like, wow, my Lee fits nice right now. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Da, 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 Ooh, that da, was da, very da, nice da. for John. Jumping and then just narrowly avoiding, you know, the um, homing attack from Kamax. And very nice. Oh. Is that going to take his jump? Oh. Yes, that is absolutely going to take his jump. Well placed. Kamex. Well placed for Kamex. Absolutely. Only at 181%. You know, it's very bad. But, like, also, what is Weepa going to do if you're just... Camping your brain, like your brain. Camping your brain. Yes, yes. camping your brain. Yeah, uh, this is like Camex is really like counting his lucky stars right here because numbers came out explosive. Numbers came out almost just zero to death thing, and now might be dead. <gasps> like, hello. You, you know, gimps really can change the game, and uh, Camex has been hit like once by like a, I think some stray hit but pretty much not hit the second stock at all, which is what he has to be, considering he's at 192. I feel like these f smashes are like a fear factor, trying to call it out. Yeah. Just got out something like that. Not really doing too much. Very good on John's part by just staying very patient. And Ooh. that half charge, Sun Salutation is going to take it yeah, at 226. Yeah, we're at 200. Doesn't take much, but 88%. Now, if you're Sonic right here, if Numbers has deep breathing, stay away. Because that's that's how you lose this lead real quick. And it's 35 right off the bat. Look at that. Oh, but into the fair. Oh, and that's absolutely going to so kill. that's so strong, man. So strong. Okay. Very nice dash attack stopping John and making it feel very uncomfortable for John oh, to get no. back off the ledges. This is going to be again. Oh, oh no. no, actually saving John and letting him get back to center stage and controlling the situation, but doesn't even matter because now he has John on his last, oh, he still has John on his last dog at 66%. And this is looking really good for Kamex right here. I mean, when Kamex has a lead, he's so clean. He, he doesn't even camp too much, but he, has like a he just gets really confident in knowing that the opponent's desperate and uses that to get so many openings. Ooh. But what a turnaround. <laughs> you s that was very good. Very nice reversal. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. That Nair could have been some damage. Kamex managing to uh, Nair out of it really quickly. Oh, not the... <laughs> That's oh. so crazy. Oh, Nair. Good up air. Or good uh, neutral air. We haven't been seeing too many like hard edge guards from Kamex. If you remember, we actually saw a lot of that, especially against C. Caleb and. Ooh. Tilde. No, not Tilde. I don't think so. I don't remember. Um, he, no, he's hit, um, he did a little bit versus Tilde, but the thing is. Oh, wow. Okay. The thing with Kamex is. Good back air. I was going to say, uh, when you have a lead like that against Wii Fit, one of the only ways you're going to lose is mm -hmm. if you overcommit and let Wii Fit get something. So why go for a hard edge guard and risk losing um, when you could just stay on stage and wait for Wii Fit to do something like a jump nair and good reaction, just clean back air from Kamex? Absolutely. What song is this? I know Persona music, but I uh, do not know what this is. This is Persona music? No, no, I'm saying the last game was Persona music. This one's not. Oh, I was about to say, I was like, wait, what? Three, two, Theme of Solid one, Snake. Okay. <laughs> not the. Hello? Uh oh. This one of those hard edge guarders. Ooh, very nice. I on respect John. going for it this early. You know, it could have been such a huge momentum swing if you could get a gimp. But, Kamex, 70% versus number 40. And wow, that's so unfortunate. Tried to punish it, but um, gets clipped by one of the hula hoops. 
Ooh, and Numbers. Kamex is kind of getting a bit desperate on ledge, and Numbers is punching it. What a far get up attack. I definitely love that John is definitely doing the John thing, just staying at ledge, never really, you know, trying to do too much because they know how much of a lead that they <laughs> have right now. And the full charge. Ooh, really good up. Uh, fair right there. Okay. Very nice. Threw out the back air and made John a little bit scared in the back air trading with Sun Salutation. Yeah, that is a strong foot. Stronger than the Sun. I definitely love a lot of Kamex's, you know, ledge trapping, but just never really getting it all the time. They definitely position themselves in a very good way to actually punish John for a lot of their defensive options. Ooh, and just going right under the Sun Salutation. Very nice recovery right here. And not catching that roll. Yeah, and this this could be... You know, we saw last game, Kamex took the stock at like 170, and he managed to turn that into like a fairly large lead. So, Ooh. taking the stock here could be really big, because now Kamex is like, okay, I have to kill Wii Fit. Wii Fit's chilling at ledge. Oh, I'm at 44. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh, very yeah. nice tech from John. Oh, uh, I don't know what 67. that grab was for. Yeah, and look at that. I think Kamex got hit three or four times and it's at 70. It's so, so beneficial to take that first stock. And now John is just playing the game. He wants to just stay at ledge, not really commit too much to something, but what is that going to do? It's going to add a little bit of percent, but, you know... I don't know, it's not really looking too scary for John right now because he, this is just the game he wants to play. Very nice. He's just like maneuvering yeah, this, so well. This is just numbers being numbers right here. Ooh, good uh, F tilt from Kamex, disrupting that sun salutation charge using the speed of Sonic. Okay. Ooh, very nice into air with that up tilt, period. Oh. And just gonna call out that spin dash with some salutation. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, Cameron's gonna need some backers. Gonna need some momentum. Oh, ducking under that with F tilt. That could have been such a different story if that's sun salutation hit. Mm hmm. John is just really playing to his, you know, strengths. This is something that you guys definitely know that John does best. And it's definitely working out in his favor. We haven't seen too much of this from John in a while, just because of like, you know, how everybody's been changing up their style, especially coming back from quarantine. Yeah, but that's the thing with when you have a lead against Sonic. I think we fit. That's so strong. Like that's why this game looks so different from game one. Is because Numbers managed to get the first stock, and when Numbers got the first stock, he went on ledge. So this is a matchup that, in my opinion, the first stock means almost everything. Like, so important. Well, uh, um, I mean, it is Sonic, so. Yeah. Ooh, and just narrowly calling out that down air and that down smash. She told you to stretch for me, please. Yeah, I mean, Kamex could not deal with the plank. He just couldn't. He got so overwhelmed. Not uh, you not focusing on your balance. That's exactly what happened. Hello. Yeah. So. Either Kamex is going to have to start off with a lead or going to have to figure out how to deal with the playing unit if he wants to close out this set. Sonic. 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 It's, it's more energetic, but Sonic. What's so energetic about Sonic? Ah, he's a fast, I zany promise hedgehog. I'm not biased. <laughs> fast, zany hedgehog. You gotta go fast. Look at, look at that start. Kamex ran up and homing a tie. Listen, you better be careful. I think John, since John be in New York, he knows how to protect himself from getting ran up on. Yeah. Numbers definitely familiar to the streets of New York City. Now is Kamex? We'll have to see. Ooh, I definitely love the way that John is just maneuvering around like all of these situations. Oh, finally got that, uh, you know, two frame. That's actually the first time I feel like we've seen it in a while from Gamex. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
taking that first dock. Only at 62%. Very nice. This planking is definitely doing something for John right now. Oh, that could have been a similar story to game one if that spring managed to hit it. But yeah, this is looking... This is just Ooh. such a rough start for Kamex. You now have a whole game that you have to crawl back from. Unless you can really like take this advantage. Really fortunate you did not get hit by that uh, sun salutation. That would have been so much percent with deep breathing. Oh, good call out. I feel like Kamex is definitely trying to ledge trap, but it's just that John is just getting back to stage so much faster than he can ever try and put out an option to make John scared. Yeah, John, John seems very comfortable on the ledge right now. He's not, I mean, that's where he thrives. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this, I mean, yeah, this is just so rough. Once again, who gets the first stock dictates the whole match, and that's an SD. Oh. And I, I don't see how Kamex is bringing this back, because Numbers is very content to stay planking. But now you gotta make something happen. Ooh, that's a Sonic Very classic nice. right there. Absolutely. I really feel like Kamex is just a little bit trying to use too much movement to actually ledge trap, you know, John Numbers instead of playing a little bit more reactive. Okay. Oh, that would have been nice if uh got the carry up, but only getting one hit. Okay, I like that. We're trying to uh, punish, whiff punish a landing. Okay, very nice combo right there. Oh, Ooh. that did not hit somehow. Okay. I guess Sonica really leans back in the F Smash animation. Okay. Ooh, is that gonna kill? Wow. Period. Wow, wow, wow. That Maybe? you need that. You need that if you were Kamex. What a great thing to get. Um and honestly, Osane needs to either figure out uh, how to take how to get a lead or how to deal with the planking. He seems to figure out how to deal with this planking a bit. I've been seeing some short hop nares to cover Wii Fit space from jumping from ledge, and I've been seeing some like fast F tilts, but yep. you also get deep breathing at a dash attack. Well, a really valiant effort from Kamex, so you mm -hmm. almost brought that back. He did not give up, and you really got to respect that, because it's very easy to just feel defeated. You're uh, you're down two stocks against Numbers. Numbers mm -hmm. refuses to interact. It's easy to just be like, wow, I I'm done. But he did it, and he almost brought back, so really good stuff. We're going to see Tilde Numbers in Grand Period. Finals. Mm -hmm. Almost there, folks. Almost at the Grands. Okay. Whatever. Or I, I was I was confused. I was like, what's going on with the music? Yeah, let's see if Numbers picks another banger. It seems to have some great music taste so far. Confusing. I love the persona music that uh, Numbers is doing. Literally. He did Time to Make History, and then he did uh, Mass Destruction. So. There is so many bangers that I don't think people know about, and I'm really ready for the bangers. Oh, you know that, that song that Mars plays when mm -hmm. he's like in bracket? No. It, it's so good. It's like some random song it's like that has a bunch of mm -hmm. violins and if you ever watch a mars set when he's on battlefield he'll play it and it's it slaps uh but yeah absolutely okay um so. shortly i believe we're gonna be getting into grand finals mm -hmm. now do you know this i i gotta assume tilde's has a positive record do you know their history uh exactly by no. Any chance? <laughs> no yeah no it's just one of those things where i feel like we are gonna see tilde not like it's okay so right so we fit in falco it, it's definitely going to be very hard especially for we fit because we fit can't you know use sun salutation but we also know how john likes to play he doesn't have to use sun use sun salutation all the time so i feel like it's more going to be of a situation where john has to figure out how to actually you know maneuver around falco and his pressure yeah you know what i mean yeah it, numbers Think, I think um, one thing also, I mean, it mm -hmm. sounds basic. It sounds like, oh, projectile carry, but Falco's reflector has got to be 